the moment with Union Minister Jitendra Singh. Mr. Singh, a very, very proud moment for our country. We have seen how the Prime Minister also over the past many years has been giving his support to ISRO and also telling the world that India has truly arrived. Yes, I think to pick up from where you left, it is primarily because of the extraordinary patronage, promotion, prioritization offered by Prime Minister Narendra Modi that the Department of Space and our ISRO missions have taken a quantum jump in the last eight, nine years. Now, I, I think it, it was the, the, the current generation would shudder to think how we began, the space journey began in a, such a primitive stage that Sarabhai was carrying a launcher on the, on the carrier of his bicycle. And today we are in a position where we are launching satellites uh, developed by the USA, the Russia, who had actually started their space journey decades before us. And we are actually also generating revenue from that launching. So we are now a frontline nation as far as space technology is concerned. And I think one of the hallmarks of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's regime is that in India, space technology is not only being limited to the launching of rockets, it's now virtually become a part of every household activity, virtually in every sector, whether it's the construction, the buildings, the roads, the, the bridges, the smart cities, the soil health cards, the telemedicine. Uh, I think space technology applications in sectoral areas as well as to ensure uh, the ease of living uh, has 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 been witnessed in the last eight, nine years. So I think that is truly living up to the dictum with which uh, the program was launched, that is this program primarily meant for peaceful purposes and for bringing comfort in the lives of the ordinary citizens. Mr. Singh, do you also think in years to come we will see India making sure that we have many more launches? Now, we all remember that iconic photo of Prime Minister Narendra Modi hugging the former ISRO chief K. Sivan after the agency had lost contract, uh, you know, when they were landing the Vikram. So it clearly shows the Prime Minister is pushing for it. And do you believe in the next coming years we will have more such launches? No, absolutely, absolutely. Prime Minister has been taken a very uh, a keen interest in this. He's been uh, personally intervening from time to time, which is also personified from the from the from the gestures that you are mentioning. And uh, but at the same time, that uh, whatever incident happened uh, during the Vikram launch actually can't be taken as a, as, a, as an accident or a setback because. Uh, if you compare with the more um, the, the countries which had embarked on space journey earlier than us, like for example US and Russia, there have been more number of failures in their mission compared to India. So, and today we are also, in a way, uh, we are performing and we are also registering the records which were not obtained by the or achieved by the other countries. Like for example, so many uh, rockets, more than 100 uh, satellites in one go. And for a country which is as vast, as heterogeneous as India, we are also now providing uh, satellite and space technology related assistance to other countries. We have a SARC uh, satellite uh, which is uh, offering all kinds of uh, forecasts regarding disasters, etc. to the neighboring countries. So I think we are now not only serving the Indian uh, nation of, uh, particularly, but we, in, in general, we, the India space uh, capabilities are now being uh, also utilized by the rest of the world and the Mangalyan pictures are being obtained by NASA which is a premier institute uh, an American agency so I think uh, we are already we've already made a mark and we are a frontline nation by all means today as far as the space technology is concerned in the next 25 years of Amrit Kaal, which Prime Minister Modi mentioned I think the ascent of India has begun via space Thank you, Mr. Singh, for joining me with all those details. Union Minister Jitendra Singh, speaking about the fact that in years to come, India will become a force to reckon with.